if there's one thing we like better than explosions, it's the helpless and the gentle creatures. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 picks for the funniest movie explosions. Rub your wrist against my belt buckle. That'll do it. Number 10, Grow House, Pineapple Express. Let me save ya! Save me, It's yeah. not working. Okay, wait, we gotta change angles. Kicking off our list is the comedy in which Seth Rogen and his drug dealer, James Franco, end up captive in an underground grow operation. Finish it off with my mouth, pal. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Escaping and fighting back, the struggle ends when an Asian gang member decides to go all kamikaze. This leads Rogan to take off his burning pants and carry his beloved pal to safety. What happened? What happened? When the fire spreads to the propane tank, it's a light show that only the unkillable Danny McBride could walk away from. Hi. Quick, this way. Number nine. Card Pursuit, Undercover Brother. Escaping from a mansion onto a golf course, Undercover Brother makes one heck of a daring escape, and he's chased down by security agents via golf cart. Buckling up, they give the brother one hell of a slow speed chase. Is he crazy? Slow down. Unfortunately for them, they just can't handle the intensity. They lose control and ram into a gas line. Huh, I guess they had nothing to, oh wait. Keep it steady, it's gonna come back! Number eight, Fish Filet, Jaws the Revenge. Oh boy, here we go. This one isn't funny for being funny, but for being stupid. Damn thing disappeared! He's gone! Here, Michael Caine and his fellow marine biologists are hunted by the eponymous killer shark. Managing to plant a bomb in the beast's mouth at great cost, it turns out to be a dud. This prompts them to do the obvious and use electrical impulses to antagonize the creature while channeling the shining to glimpse at how the original shark was killed. Smile, you son of a bitch! Not having a gun, they instead simply ram it. Hey, who needs a gun when you've got momentum? Number seven, splitting the beer atom, Young Bubble. Einstein. I mean, I suppose you can split a beer atom? In this Australian comedy, Yahoo Serious, yeah, that's his name, stars as a youthful Albert Einstein. I still had plenty of time to think about the universe. Here, the genius's works are represented as being a little more practical for everyday folk. Namely, he spends the entire night coming up with a formula for making beer taste and froth better. Ink. This, of course, involves managing to split the beer at him with a chisel. I should have been a physicist. This will put the Einsteins on the map. Number six, waiting for the boom, 21 Jump Street. I've got a crow. In this comedy, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum play undercover cops trying to bust a high school drug ring. After following the dealers to an exchange with a biker gang, they accidentally blow their cover. It's easy time! No, no, no! It's easy time! Making a run for it, they're chased through heavy traffic, commandeering several other vehicles along the way. This spurs a freeway chase full of close calls that continually defy expectations including one with a propane truck. What happened? I don't know, it just didn't explode. That's weird. And an oil tanker. Huh? You'll never guess which one actually goes boom. <laughs> oh, that's what exploded? Number five. Yeehaw, Dr. Strangelove. Distance, 50 miles. Continue evasive action. In this black comedy about nuclear annihilation, an American bomber plane finds its release mechanism damaged by Soviet anti-aircraft fire. Start lever to cut off, cut off. In steps our hero, Major Kong, who decides to solve the problem with a little elbow grease. A true cowboy, he goes out doing the only thing he can and relishes his blaze of glory. It's 
probably best that he doesn't know that the order to carry out the bombing was also a mistake. Number four, collision course, lovely but deadly. You want to hit? No, but you do. This B-movie action film has an equally trashy premise, namely that a cheerleader is recruited to go undercover to fight her high school's drug ring. Sound familiar? It isn't just blowing a little weed or making out in the parking lot, you know. The natural course of events that ensue eventually lead to a frantic boat chase. It's too bad for these guys that they were careless enough to let their boats ever touch. And this is why I don't go boat. It's like, excuse me, but have you ever heard of styling gel? <laughs> Number three, gas fight, Zoolander. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? When fashion model Derek Zoolander feels down, he turns to his equally ridiculously good looking model friends to cheer him up. Know what can really help you sort through these important issues? What? This, of course, involves going out for Orange Mocha Frappuccino! <laughs> <laughs> and watching his pals have just another one of their famous gasoline fights at the pump. But the real hazard isn't the gas, but smoking. Smoking kills, kids. Remember that. It doesn't mean that we too can't not die in a freak gasoline fight accident. Number two, methane. Black sheep. In this offbeat horror, genetic engineering transforms ordinary livestock into murderous, bloodthirsty sheep. With their survivors ultimately finding a way to round up and contain the beasts within a fence, they decide to end their nightmare by hurling a zippo at the most flatulent of the group. And that's why farmers don't smoke. The more you know. Shit. I to go deal with the brass. The brass, let's go, man. Hang tight. Number one. The brass. The brass. Wait in the van, MacGruber. Taking the top spot on our list is the outrageous explosion that is given substantial buildup. So, MacGruber, we understand you've recruited quite a team. Here, MacGruber goes through the long process of tracking down and recruiting his old army buddies to form the perfect dream team. Last time I saw you, you had a grenade launcher in one hand and an M16 in the other. And you had just ripped a dude's throat out with your bare hands. Classic MacGruber. While he's outside antagonizing the rookie who just wants to come along, he leaves them in a van on the tarmac with a set of explosives. That I personally packed in there with my own two... And it just blows up in his face. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Tag, tag. You guys okay? Agree with oh, our list? Call 911. Which movie explosion blew you back with laughter? For more entertaining top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. How do they walk away in movies without flinching when it explodes behind them? There's no way. I call bullshit on that. <laughs>